now. 200 years ago tonight, New Haven was a town in mourning. A Royal Navy ship had run aground on rocks outside the port with the loss of more than 100 lives. The bodies that were recovered were buried in a local churchyard, where today senior Royal Navy officers joined local civic leaders in remembering the tragedy. Our Sussex reporter Sean Killick was there. It's peaceful out there now, but 200 years ago, a storm was raging in the English Channel. Royal Naval Sloop HMS Brazen, patrolling the coastline, was buffeted onto the rocks off New Haven. The vessel broke up and 105 men perished. Today, on the 200th anniversary, townsfolk gathered in St Michael's Church to remember and to learn more about what happened. People, as soon as they learned of the disaster, set off to render assistance. In the dark, about six o'clock in the morning, the wreck could barely be seen, but cries for help from the sailors directed people to the spot. Because of the state of the tide, help on the beach at the foot of the cliffs became impossible. One man only was saved by means of a cage let down from the cliff top. Representatives of the Royal Navy, Coast Guard, RNLI and Sea Cadets took part in the service with civic dignitaries and local school children. A former captain of the most recent HMS Brazen said although the event happened many years ago, that's no reason to allow the men to be forgotten. The French have a saying that uh, you, uh, you die twice, once when you, you, your soul passes on, and secondly when people forget you, and um, uh, people who are lost at sea and uh, people who are lost in the service of their country, I think, should be remembered. 74 bodies recovered from the wreck were buried here. Today, one of the hymns was accompanied by a violinist, just as the men's funeral service was two centuries ago. Sean Killick, along with others, remembering HMS Brazen.